Yes. Well, now we know what we like about each other, let's move on. Yes, I find the teddy bear rather interesting. Interesting? It never says a word. <laughs> Why a teddy bear, Norman? I don't know. Why not a dog or a cat? Ugh. I can't stand cats. I hate cats. If a cat comes near me, I shudder. The fur, the claws, and the way they walk. Can't stand cats at any price. That's one of the joys of being in hospital, getting away from cats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fascinating revelation, Doctor. Ah, oh, hello, Figgis. Um, look, what are you going to start my treatment? All in good time, Archie. Figgis, what are those? Cats. Yes, I know they're cats, but what are they doing now? It's what we call conditioning. I'm going to get Norman used to cats. <laughs> well, aren't you afraid you might be rushing things? No. First it's pictures, then I'll give him some furry material to touch, and then, finally, I may introduce him to a kitten. And you must see in the paper. Ah, oh, there it is. When are you going to start my treatment, Fig? It's already started, Norman. Huh? Ah! Cats! Yes, aren't they nice? They're horrible! I hate them! Look at them! Look at those eyes! Look at those teeth! Ah! The way they're fixing their paws! They're evil! I'm getting out of here! Well done, Norman! They're only pictures! You won't notice they're there after a few days! You're right, because I won't be in here! Oh, wow. <laughs> What's the matter with Norman? He was almost foaming at the mouth. Good heavens! Who put those up? Biggest doctor. <laughs> no wonder Norman's going gaga. <laughs> That for, it's what we in psychiatry call aversion therapy. What? It's part of your treatment. Every time you look at a pretty nurse, I'm going to subject you to an unpleasant experience. That should put you off them. I had thought of passing an electric current through your bed, but I think that might be a bit better. Yes, it certainly will. What about a pin on a stick? No, certainly not. Well, I could hit you with a rolled-up newspaper. You're not going to hit me with anything. You're not going to practice your aversion therapy on me either. But why don't you just mind your own business and leave me alone? You can keep away from me, Fig. Don't worry, Norman. I've got a little present for you. One of the nurses brought it in. It's in this box. I know what it is. It's a kitten. I know it's a kitten, and you can take it away. Now, what makes you think it's a kitten? Archie told me you can take it away. I hate kittens with their little red rasping tongues and their nasty little claws. You can take it away. No, it's not a kitten. Do you think I'd be so insensitive? It's just a piece of fur. And I just want you to touch it, that's all. It's a dead kitten. I know it is. <laughs> It's just a piece of fur. Just feel the texture. I hate fur. It smells. It gets up your nose. Yeah, it's horrible. You've only got to touch it. That's all. Now, come on, Norman. You want to be cured, don't you? <laughs> there. That's not too bad now, is it? No. <laughs> now, stroke it. Yeah, that's quite a pleasant sensation, isn't it? Oh, well, I suppose it is. Now I'm going to take it out. What? Now relax, Norman. You're doing very well. <laughs> take it away. Well, look at those eyes staring at me. They're horrible. They're evil. No, I think he likes you, Norman. You like Norman, don't you? Yes. <laughs> don't say stop playing with it. Take it away. All it's right. obscene. All right, all right. Obviously, I've advanced your... Treatment too quickly. I'm sorry, Norman. <laughs> Mind you, that seem a pity to waste it. What are you going to do? I'm going to put it in Archie's bed. I'm going to life out of him. Right. He sees this bed as his refuge, as his retreat from life. This will make him change his mind. <laughs> <laughs> 